Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how to roast chicken in about one hour on this new rotisserie cooker that we got called the Turby Cube. So hang with us, we're going to show you the Turby Cube and then we're going to prepare the chicken. Alright, here's the Turby Cube. Is the basics here. This is made out of a beer keg. And the, basically the heat from the charcoal and the, the hot air actually spins the rotisserie and they self propel. So let me go ahead and show you the parts uh, of the turkey cube and then we'll get started on the cook. So come on a little closer. What you have here is a charcoal basket and it goes right in here. And it hooks in the back. And then you've got the top that goes on this after you fill it with charcoal. This right here is where you can put pellet or wood chips in. It just sits right there. And this right here, we're going to be cooking chicken today. So this is your rotisserie. So we're going to put chicken on this. And this fits right down inside here. And then this piece is locks in, and you, you can spin it. Okay. Now here is the fan. I have to put it in kind of an angle. It spins right on top. Just kind of give it a spin, and again, it's self-propelled. Once we get the heat going. It'll do his thing. All right, another accessory that comes with it is a basket. If you want to put vegetables in there, if you want to put cut up chicken in there, if you want to put fish, and again, it does the same thing. It locks in and then it spins. It's a pretty cool invention. It's the Turby Q. Uh, Bert is the inventor of this. I will put in the show more section uh, the information there. Be sure to check this out. And get a couple of hooks here. Uh, this is going to be kind of hot, so what we want to do, we'll just use one of these to kind of pick it up. And, and if we need to get the basket out, then we get the basket out. So that's basically what we got going on here. Let's get the chicken ready, and we'll get it in here. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the charcoal lit. So let me give you a, a couple of tips. Go ahead and get you some Weber uh, lighter cubes. And what we're going to do is light these individually. We'll take... Toss these down in the bottom, one on this side, one down in the middle, one on this side. And we'll take some charcoal and go ahead and get this started down below. Give us a good layer down below. And we want this charcoal, this charcoal to get pretty hot. We'll go ahead and get it. You know, good, a good um, heat going there at the bottom, and then once we do that, then we'll fill the rest up. All right, now let's go get the chicken prepared. Ready? All right, here's our chicken. We're gonna put a little olive oil on it. I get a salt brine. It's been sitting overnight with some kosher salt. Might do a couple nights, a couple, a couple days of salt brine. I didn't really have that much time to do that this time, so uh, just did overnight. And here's our seasoning. It's, it's by Sweet Smoky Joe. It's our Froyo chicken. This is low in sodium. Get us a good coating all over this chicken. All right, we got us a good coating. Just kind of pat it in. Good coating of the chicken. And here's our rotisserie spindle. This is the top part. So what we're going to do is we're going to have 
Put the breast at the bottom. Just kind of run this through. Lock it into place. And we'll take these uh, chicken legs, see if we can kind of tuck them under. Like so. Make sure everything is tight. I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning on here since I've kind of rubbed some of it off. Let's get it inside the cooker. All right, we got some good heat going in here, so let's go ahead and fill this up. See if I can do it like this. Get our top fan in. And it says to go ahead and give it a spin counterclockwise. So as you can see, it's basically how it's gonna cook. We'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, as the heat moves up, it'll keep the roast uh, the chicken moving doing the rotisserie around and we're looking at 45 minutes to an hour is what they're saying I just wanted to show you guys again it's moving along right by itself you can see down inside the charcoal is getting pretty good and hot and as it heats up it's going to move up and just continue to keep it uh, moving on its own so again we're looking at about an hour or maybe 45 minutes before this chicken is done. This is about a two and a half pound chicken, not anything real large. All right, we are just about done. I just got through checking it, and we're about 1:30 internal. You can hear that nice sizzle in there. Look at that, guys. This is one unique cooker, and I'm amazed at how it's self-propelled with that heat just rising from the hot air from those coals. One amazing cooker. All right, let's check it out and see where we're at. I'm pretty sure that we're about where we need to be at. Up here in the leg. Yeah, 170. Let's try this one here. 175. It's probably going to be a lot hotter down here in the breast. It's 175, so a little 180 on this side. So let's go ahead and get it taken off, guys. Let's get this top off. Chicken out. Lay it right over here. Here's a sizzle on it. We're going to take. Out. All 
right, let's go ahead and cut into it. It's kind of falling apart, really. Wait, cut through that bone there. Look at that. Chris, the, the skin is crisped up nicely. Kind of cut into his breast right quick. Wow, look how juicy that is. Hopefully, you can get a good shot of that. Look how juicy it is. That's amazing. Look at that. Wow. It's like a perfectly cooked. So juicy. Man, look at that juice is running out of it. Let's give it a try right quick. Let's get a good shot of that. That's really nice. Still hot. Oh my God. Guys, that is wonderful. So juicy on the inside. The flavor of that Froyo chicken is just wonderful together. Again, that salt brine helps keep that juice inside that you get, you're getting right there. It's, just, it's, it's awesome. Awesome combination. Highly recommend Turby Q. Again, it took a little less than one hour to cook this chicken. I'll be doing some more cooks, probably the ribs at the same time. It'll be about an hour to do ribs. So the show more section below will have the season that I use, the information on the Turby Q. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope this is something that you will try and look into. Thank you so much. As usual, if you're new to the channel and you're not a subscriber, please consider it. Send me some information if you'd like me to do a certain kind of cook. Thank you so much for watching as usual. God bless.